the 1994 conference in Ghana. Let me first thank the people in charge of the African Union, uh, the special advisor uh, of Africa, Ambassador Brazil, all uh, the efforts so far exerted by the African continent, uh, let us all uh, be proud that there are so many things happening in Africa. So many declarations, so many uh, documents, the ones uh, referred to by uh, Professor Tondu, uh, Ambassador Abdel Aziz and others, the recent uh, document uh, from Abuja. This is something that we should be proud of, that Africa is not uh, away from the development, the international development. On the contrary, sometimes Africa is taking the lead in setting up the tone, the agenda, the issues that are of importance to the humanity. So, uh, for this reason, I am really obliged to pass a word of sense and a word of confidence in us, the Africans. We have a lot of problems, yes. We still uh, have to meet challenges, yes, but at the same time, there is movement, there, there are ideas, uh, there is good contribution coming from us. Look at uh, the many documents referred to the Human Rights Charter in Africa, the Mobutu, the uh, the uh, African uh, News Declaration, you name it, you, you've heard all of these things. So what is left now is to get uh, our act together. After all this effort, why aren't we in conformity with ourselves? This is very important. And it, it does not require much. It's only bureaucratic uh, reasons or uh, lack of information or information coming late. Nothing of substance. So it should not erode the substance that we have accomplished. I'm sure that uh, with the wisdom in, in, in the African delegation, whether they are in New York or in the capital, we can overcome this uh, uh, small, if I may say, deviation. Now, on the uh, population and development, it was Africa that pinpoint that uh, Human beings should be the center of development. Development is essential because I've been uh, reviewing the development decades that uh, were drafted by the United Nations, and you can see the progress of till we reach that the individual should be the center the person should be the center uh, of the value. And uh, the world realizes that development of human capital and health and education is the only way to achieve sustainable development. Health and education would lead to sustainable development. So this is the first investment. Second, the population dynamic affects all three pillars of sustainable development. 
it affects economic development, employment, income distribution, poverty, social protection. So we all agree that any investment in human capital is an investment in the future that will bring more social and economic progress. Yet successful implementation of a road-based social investment is essential to counter poverty and the step towards the welfare state. On, on, uh, at the same time, you can see some international institutions when there is economic difficulties, immediately their prescription is to cut down on social program. This prescription has to be changed. And by the end, voice. It should not be on the expense of the poor, the needy, and the people. Uh, Africa is rich. It has a lot of natural resources. Whether or not the benefit of these natural resources goes back to the individual, it's another problem of equitable distribution. But at the same time, it's not only natural resources, but the human resources, the capital and human being is unique in Africa. We have a, a young population. It should be used effectively, positively. Otherwise, it would turn to be an evil phenomenon. And here, I should refer to women, because to tell you the truth, uh, population and development, women, it, it concentrates on women. And we are saying we should empower women, women should have equal opportunity. But if you translate this, you don't find uh, a true implementation of what we are saying. Because equality means women, it means equality to access to health services. Equality means access to education. Equality means access to job opportunity. Uh, access to be protected from violence. So, this is the true translation of what we are aiming at. So, I think, or maybe I am wrong, but I think I am not wrong. Population issues are mainly women issues. And the problem here is that we do not give due attention to these issues. Pregnancy, delivery, mortality, morbidity. The politicians do not care about this thing, either because they don't know about it or they give it a lower So we need to bring what we feel in and see in our poor area in each of our country to the, the politician, diplomat, those who are taking decisions here in the negotiation. There is a, a dilemma between the two. What is happening? Uh, the reality is completely different from what 
we are handling here about this word or this phrase, we should not lose on, on population development in particular, we should not lose the gains that we have at the first. It was the, the African continent that initiated the idea of the right to the bad. It was Senegal and Egypt in 77. And this is how we introduced a new principle of development as one of human rights. And the West did not like this at all. For 10 years, they didn't recognize this right. Till the Human Rights Conference in Vienna in the 90s approved. Number two, it was Egypt, which is an African country, who introduced family planning agenda item in the United Nations. In 1968, and the Catholic Church was against it. It was in the African continent when we hosted the 94 Population and Development Conference. So we, if we in Africa, have initiated and contributed to the international humanitarian law, we should not lose this. We should build on it and overcome any uh, minor problem between the capital and here, or bureaucratic. The letter of invitation did not arrive on time, or simply. Therefore, please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, realize what you get, realize the power that you have, and build on it. Thank you very much.